Mm. Good. Oh. I feel like looser, for sure. Let's see what's happening with that jaw. Go ahead and open your mouth. Close. Open. Close. Oh, let me see your teeth. Like, give me a smile. Oh yeah, I can already see it. it's like over to the side. Okay, open up again. Stick your tongue out. Did you drink any water today or what? Uh, <laughs> I did. I drank a lot this morning. Left or right? Left. Okay, ready? Open. Close. Okay, open halfway. Push your jaw to the right against my hand. Open again. Put, open again. Push your jaw to the left against my hand. It's really weak on both sides, so you have you have some jaw rehabilitation to do. Mm -hmm. But it's over to the side this way. And then one more time, open it. And then it, it's definitely favoring as it comes out. It's twisting like this. Mm -hmm. It's caught at the end here. One more time, open. Close. Okay, oh, nice and gentle. Okay, the jaw adjustment isn't quite as comfortable as the other ones. <laughs> Whatever, just push right into your jaw, okay? Great. All right, go ahead and open your uh, jaw. Open your mouth. Okay, I'm going to put my fingers in your mouth, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay, you can close. Is that tender right there? All right. Oh, hold on, let's get this side. Close. Is that one tender right there? I love that. Okay, open again. Okay, first we'll do a palatine bone adjustment. Good deep breath. Get in. Yeah. Good. Okay, close. Right or left? Mm -hmm. Look with your eyes. Which side is more tender? Or same? Same. Okay, good. Very right, same. Uh huh. All right. Mm hmm. It's much tighter over here. Oh, so. Gotta keep breathing. Right, there we go. It's letting go. Good job. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good job. Almost there. Good relax now. Sure. Mm. Ugh. Okay, now I'm going to open your jaw. <clears throat> Good, let this relax here. Good, we're going to put a little push in that direction like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now let's see. I'm glad you took that belly button ring out. <laughs> the next one is the nose. The nose has to go. It has to go? Yeah, it's inter it's interfering with your governing vessels. Okay. Working on, After I worked on your face, it became apparent. Like, usually okay. I don't like any uh, piercings in the midline. Okay. But yours is so apparent. Like, even your nose ring dives off to the right. The same direction that your jaw dives off to. You know what I mean? It's just like, we're trying to get this, like, straight up and down column. Of you already light. got rid of this one. How come? I did that years ago, and it just, like, doesn't close. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll just probably take it out one day.
You were following your intuition. Uh huh. And your body was telling you the same thing that I'm telling you now. And I had blood piercings and I took those out. Mm hmm. Up there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're evolving. And you know that's what I mean? his next. Yeah. Took the tongue rings out. <laughs> okay, you're upset. All right, so I'm going to recheck this one again. I think it was the fourth. Two, three, four. That one. Uh huh. All right, so I'm gonna contact this first by reaching underneath of your arm like this, okay? I'm gonna contact this with my thumb right here. I'm gonna reinforce that thumb. Let this arm relax right here. Reinforcing that thumb here. Lift, uh, look up at the ceiling. Yep, very good. I'm gonna contact the rib on the back there like this. Good. Good, I got that relax. That was really good. Mm -hmm. It really wasn't loud, but it, did, it made its noise and it felt good. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. let's sit back down. They both have a three-point pulse system. Vata Pitta Kapha, are you familiar with those? Mm -mm. What? You do yoga? You ever <laughs> taken the Vata Pitta Kapha test yet? No. Well, you're a Pitta. And let's just see if the pulse says that. The pulse would agree. Now... Yeah, the feet are cold. It could be thyroid. You ever had your thyroid levels checked? I have. Recently? Yes, and, and they're good. Parathyroid? Um, you have vitamin D, so you had your vitamin D was low? My vitamin D is a little bit low. Now, there's really like, so there, in, in traditional Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, there's a superficial and a deep, and on both sides. So there's 12 organs, organ systems, organs. But the one system of, of Dr. Prasant Lad, uh, his pulse reading consists of seven levels. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
and each level gives you a different set of information of energy in the body. It's very complex. I, sounds like it. Yeah. I only use three levels, the top level, the most deep, and the sixth level, which is the chakra. So I'm going to push into your wrist. Do you know if when you were born you had a traumatic birth? Did not have a dramatic birth. Traumatic. Not traumatic. Not dramatic. No. I was early, but no. It was not very traumatic. Have you ever had a near death experience? Um, yeah. I would say so. Yeah. I almost drowned when I was like eight. In the ocean? Mm hmm. And then what happened? Uh, now I fear the ocean. <laughs> well, it was mostly ground chakra. It was mostly this stuff up here. Hold on. Okay. I love it. It's nice, isn't it? It's so nice. So it was like, first it was ground chakra, which is just like... First of all, it's not blocked, okay? I don't believe in blocked chakras. It's just like the part of your journey that you're working on right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, so, you know, crown chakra is your connection to everything. It's like your ultimate purpose here, you know, and, and you're entering that phase in your life soon. That you know, makes sense. like your, your work hard years are upon you. Mm -hmm. I know you've probably been working hard, but you're probably mm -hmm. going to have to work a lot harder now. Yeah, I'm going to school online eventually be a therapist so yeah it's he and spoiled it's, it i was oh, about to get there oh, okay i'm sorry there's there's other things go ahead oh okay yeah uh yeah you do you have a healer's pulse so mm -hmm. like you would do wonderful um in any kind of profession that you can help people like along their path but it's not just a healer's pulse it's a shamanic pulse so you really have to focus on like you couldn't be a nurse, you know what I mean? Like you, you have to lead people into the trance mm -hmm. of releasing and um, allowing people to uh, expand. So there's shamanic work there for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you already know. I, I, I don't really need to tell you, you already know. But like <laughs> the second time I did it, there was some uh, sacral chakra stuff there. Okay. So it was like, you know, that's relationship stuff. Relationship, mm -hmm. not, not, not just with people. I mean like, you're single and 38, but you're beautiful, so I'm sure most of it's by choice, and uh, <laughs> and that's okay. Hyper-independent. Yeah, what does that mean? Um, I just, I actually recently learned it's kind of a trauma response to having, like, just unstable uh, parents and, like, having to do things on my own, being an only child. I don't mm -hmm. like relying on people. I'm hyper-independent. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm the same way, but I it's but my mom almost did everything for me to the point where I didn't know how to do laundry when I got to college. Mm -hmm. Like, you got you got there. How you got there isn't really as important as that. Your recognition that you are there. Oh yeah, I'm a, I feel like it's not a problem. People I end up in relationships with feel like it is a problem. Yeah, yeah. They want me to depend more on them, and I'm like, give me a reason to. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah.